I'm Gwendolyn Bois shaw I'm an art historian and a curator. Curating is a really exciting practice because you work with objects and you work with artists and you work with language and history and it kind of brings it all together and trying to make an exhibition that's interesting to a lot of different audiences but also is educational and looks good is a big challenge. Well, I always wanted to be an artist myself. I wasn't a particularly good artist. I was much better talking about it than doing it, but I always liked to be around artists and other folks who were creating and making things, whether it was with paint or objects or words. When I first started studying art, I did not see a lot of faces that looked like mine. I didn't see a lot of African-American um, subjects or African-American artists in the classes that I took, and I was always very curious. Where are the black artists? Having grown up in an activist family, I was always exposed to African-American art because my parents made a big effort to do that. I feel like that background coming from a family really involved in civil rights and social activism impacted the choices that I made in my career. I don't think I could do regular art history. It couldn't just be about pretty pictures. For me, the work that I do has to have a social importance. And in my teaching career, I've really tried to focus on both highlighting that we were really present, that black folks have always been a part of art history, and helping to bring the black presence in art into larger arts institutions. 30 Americans is an exhibition that draws on a private collection from Miami, owned by the Rubell family. It's a collection of works by 30 African-American artists. I was very excited when I was asked to help curate this exhibition. With some of the artists in the exhibition, it's about plumbing the, you know, the depths of their psyches and showing things that maybe aren't so pretty. See how artists work through these issues, contemporary issues, for me has always been a real driving factor in my career. I want to understand these questions, these issues myself, and art has helped me to do that.